All right, welcome to another episode of SureShade University, where in this episode we're going to be talking about legacy system, uh, legacy controller, um, with a possible over-retracted actuator. This comes up, unfortunately, more often uh, than we'd like it to, but most all cases, this comes up when there's a voltage irregularity or low voltage sent to the control box, scrambles the memory, and uh, quite honestly, the actuators uh, over-retract in some cases and they become stuck or, or lodged. So the first thing to look for, guys, when you're doing this is look at your measurements on the end. Normally you would have one inch between black collar to black collar and then two inches from black collar to the end of the tube. You look at these, you see your black collars touching. You can almost assume that these are over-retracted and they're stuck. So the steps that you would want to take, again, you're going to want to check as in all legacy controllers, you're going to want to check to make sure that you've got power. From green to red, you want 12 volts, or from green to orange, you want 12 volts. That means you've got power to your motherboard and power to your motors. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come into your control box. And the first step in this process is you don't need the system to come in any more than it already is. It's already jammed up. So you're going to come up to number seven. You're going to turn number seven on. You're going to hit the set button. And then you're going to turn number seven off. Now our port actuator is the one that's jammed up. You're going to come in here and you're going to turn on number five so that we can individually control the port actuator. And now what you're going to do is you're going to hit extend. Okay, in this case, because it's on a test bench, they were not stuck together, okay? The other thing that could happen is, we heard techs talk about it all the time, I blew the 15 amp fuse. If you did that, it's usually because your actuator's jammed up. You replace the fuse, now you hit seven, reset, you go to hit extend, and now you all you hear is this, like a, either a, a chirp or a, a very light, Murk, murk sound and that's coming from the motor being jammed up. So in that case this controller doesn't send enough power to this unit to break those two apart. That's where your bearing assembly and your flywheel get jammed together and they won't come apart. So the next step you can do is you can try and get to the actual wiring. Okay. And then if you have a power probe, you can remove the black and the red from the Deutsch plug and you can power these two wires. Say if you had a 12 volt battery sitting in front of you, you get a couple alligator clips, positive and negative, positive and negative. You're gonna spin the motor one way, flip the polarity, you spin it the other way. If you still can't get it apart, your last and only option is you can take, you pop your black cap off the end and if you look inside, the tube, you can see the drive shaft. Okay? You can take a quarter inch extension on a drill, put your drill in reverse. Do not have it on drill mode. Back it up a little bit, and then all you're going to do is you're going to take your quarter inch bit and you're going to put it on the end of your drive shaft and slowly pull the trigger. And you can see you can run the actuator. Now what you can do is you can use this, you can verify that the actua actuator is actually good, that's reverse, put the drill in forward. Alright, now what you can do is you can use this to get your one inch. Okay, so let's say that's one inch, you're going to remove your drill, you're going to come back into your control box, you're going to turn off five, we're going to turn on seven now, hit set, and then turn it off because both actuators are back at home. And normally, guys, I want to go over this. We've extended this tube. This tube should always be two inches, one and seven eighths to two and an eighth on the Legacy, but two inches exactly on the Silent Glide. But we've done this so that we could over retract this actuator, okay? Normally, this would be the same size. So now we've reset home. And let's see if we've, uh... okay, great, now they're both working. Okay. 
That takes care of that issue. Um, again, that's for an over-retracted actuator that's jammed up. That's the easiest way or the, the only ways you can actually get them apart. Hopefully that helps. If you got any more questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit us on shoreshade.com forward slash service. Thanks and have a good day.